let us take up this next question on the sound IGCSC question, past paper question. If you want, you can pause the video here, solve the question yourself, come back and play the video. And if you're finding the videos on this channel informative and useful, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. It will be really helpful. All right, so let us understand what is happening in question number three. A sound wave traveling in air approaches a solid barrier with a gap in the middle. All right, so there is a gap, there is a barrier. So you should automatically understand that there is a wave also present. So diffraction is taking place, definitely. So the figure represents the compression and rare fraction of the sound waves. The compressions are labeled A, B and C. A, B, C are compressions so that in between the compressions, what do you find? In between the compressions, you find rare fraction. The dotted lines represent the location of rare fractions. You have a rare fraction here and another one here. So state how compressions differ from a rare fraction. So how do you answer this question? We have done similar question when we were practicing question number one and two as well. In compression, it is a high pressure region or molecules or atoms or particles. You can choose any of the words, not all of them. You can just say the molecules are close together, tightly packed. It is a one mark question, so you need not worry. So hardly one statement which sounds correct will give you one complete mark. Not a difficult question. So the speed of the sound in the air is given to you. I am on part B now. Speed of the sound in the air is given and the frequency of the sound is given. For this wave, determine the wavelength. How do you determine the wavelength when you are given the speed? You are given the speed. You are given the frequency. How do you determine the wavelength? You use the wave equation. V is equal to F lambda. So lambda will be 340 over 850. You'll have to divide these two numbers to get your answer. If you look at the mark scheme, I always prefer to show you all the mark scheme so that you understand what I what CIE expects from you to write in your answers. So the CIE expects that you start with the formula, input the values in the formula as we have input it, do your calculation and then write down the answer. Answer should be 0 0.4 meters. So the answer here is 0 0.40 meters. All right. Now the next one, I'm on B, the second part. The time that elapsed before the compression A, compression A reaches the barrier. The compression A has traveled to the barrier. So how much of a distance has it traveled? When A reaches B, how much of a distance has it traveled? Let us understand it. A reaches B, it has traveled how much of a distance? Lambda because A to B is one wavelength. B to C is another wavelength. And if you see at the barrier, you have a ray fraction. You have a dotted line here. And C to the barrier is half a wavelength. So how much of a distance have you traveled? Half. I'm sorry, this is half a wavelength. So how much of a distance have you traveled? 2 lambda plus half lambda, which is 2 and a half lambda. This is the total distance that you have traveled from A to the barrier. Distance you have found out, you know the speed. You can calculate the time using the speed distance time formula. Speed is distance over time. So time is how much? Distance over speed. Distance is how much? 2.5 times lambda. Lambda you know is 0.4 Distance is how much? This is your total distance travel. 2.5 times lambda value you have already calculated here. 0 0.4 and the speed value is given to you which is 340. Now you will have to take out your calculators, do some calculation on your calculator and write down the value of the time. Let us see if we are doing everything correct. Yes. 
2.5 times lambda this gives you your distance and distance over speed is your time so it is 2.9 times 10 to the power minus 3 2.9 times 10 to the power minus 3 make sure that you do the calculation and write down your answers this should be your answer C part on this figure draw the shape and the position of the compressions B and C position of the compressions B and C as the compression A reaches the barrier so as the compression A is reaching the barrier so when you have A here where are B and C they'll diffract right so you have to draw some diffraction pattern B and C would be ahead of them in between you will have some rare fractions the dotted lines present the rare fractions will also diffract like this all right so this completes your picture a when it arrives here b and c would have already diffracted now the last part d part the sound waves can also travel in water state how the speed of the sound in the water compares with the speed of the sound in air so the speed of the sound and water will be greater than the speed of the sound in air this is a property of sound that we have learned in the theory video which was called the properties of sound go through it and understand it in that video you'll understand that the sound travels the fastest in solid followed by that in liquid and the slowest in gases i'll show you the mark scheme before we end this question, this is the mark scheme for question number 3. Make a note of it and we end this question here. In the next video, we will be taking up question number 4.